Yeah, you see what I got on my yeah. ball here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't you got some cool in here, man? Yeah. Oh, no, man. Turn off the I wish. Turn on the heat. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wish, man. Crazy about that. The thermostat. I guess we didn't do both today. Um, Bridget Gordon and FAMU is uh, going to be a team to uh, um, to be reckoned with in the in the swag this year. Um, Bridget, um, her first year, but she's a Tennessee grad and played for one of the best coaches in the country in Coach Summit, and um, she has a lot of knowledge and she got her kids just to play hard. Um, regardless of the score, they played up to their standard. Um, they played all the way to the end. They still turned us over at the end, those kind of things. They still attacked the basket. The score didn't matter to them. And um, I was really excited for Bridget, because um, Coach Gordon, that they, again, that's what you want your team to do every single time. Um, I thought Peyton uh, reestablished herself um, in the post. I thought she posted up big, caught balls, didn't bring them down, finished high. Um, had an opportunity to defend without fouling, um, ran the floor, and played long minutes. And that's what we need her to do. Uh, overall, I thought <clears throat> we were subpar in our performance today. Um, it's something about playing a team you're supposed to beat, and you don't hold yourself up to the standard. Um, and that's what we did today. We didn't hold ourselves up to the standard of Houston Cougars women's basketball. Um, we came out and, you know, we had a little, yeah, we know we're going to beat them, and bounce back and that kind of stuff, which is not the uh, mindset to have, and that's on me. I have to make sure I take care of that, and we will definitely take care of that. But um, overall, I'm happy to get the win and uh, moving forward, you know, get ready for the next one. Peyton, how, do, how would you assess your performance today? Um, I thought my teammates did a great job of looking for me today. Um, sometimes I don't think they uh, – they look for their shots, um, but I thought they did a good job being focused, selfless today and look for my shot, and it was just falling. Are you feeling more comfortable in the system? Yeah, for sure. Hey, Coach, um, what's your me I'm sorry. What's your message to the team as far as your f f philosophy going? forward as you start this road trip and you're not going to be in the comfy confines. Exactly. You know, playing up to a standard, we have to play up to that standard each and every time. We're a team that's explosive on the defensive end, that want to get stops, get out and run and transition, get early shots, or um, we have to execute in the, in the half court. It's going to be some, you know, some variety where different people can have opportunity to touch the basketball going inside out. But we have to have a mindset of just playing up to that standard each and every time. You can't take plays off. You can't have opportunities where you don't sprint down the floor as hard. You can't have opportunities where you can have a chance to score in the paint like we did and we missed those layups. I think we made six, missed six or eight. And they're a challenge. But we have players that's able to be able to make those. If they wasn't able, I wouldn't say anything about it. But they're able to make those. And, and we didn't communicate on those like we needed to with the uh, either teammate to teammate, making a layup, or finding people in the middle of the zone and being able to pass it. You know, the one thing they did was start out in a man that went zone, or they were in the zone, and on the first pass, they would go man, it just matches up. And it kind of started us a little bit, and you know, but again, at the end of the day, you have to be a player. Everybody in the country is going to know our plays. You know, every coach is, is smart enough to look at and see what you run and get patterns. You know, we do that to everybody else. We know exactly. It's what happens after that play breaks down or the play doesn't create the opportunity it's supposed to what's going to be next. And that's what we got to get better at. That's what we got to get better at. And as far as your defense, uh, they had a lot of five-second violations trying to get the ball back in. How do you think that, that your defense disrupted their rhythm? Yeah, we had a D today. Uh, if you want to A, B, C, D, or E, uh, we, we had a D today because it was almost an F. You know, we had a D because we are capable of turning people over 40 times. 
you know, we thought we could have opportunity. We set a goal to try to turn them over 35 times. I think they turned us over more times than we, than, than we turned them over. Yeah, we had 25, they had 24. So again, that, that just tells the story that we wasn't locked in, we didn't play up to the standard. Um, we wasn't consistently fighting every single time to be able to do that. Um, because if you give a great effort on doing that, great things will happen for us. And we didn't give that effort every single time on trying to defend them to the best of our ability. Peyton, when you hear Coach say the team did not play up to Houston standards, what are your thoughts on what he said? I agree. I thought we had lulls. Like, we didn't start the game very well. And then we could kind of go up a little bit. And then in the second half, we went down again. Um, we just have to stay consistent. Because when we play in the Big 12, when we hit those lulls, we might not be able to come back. And what it's going to take to maintain that consistency from the player perspective? Uh, just holding uh, everyone accountable to what we know everyone can do. That's the biggest thing. We want to have um, each player do C and D, what we call um, confront themselves first. Am I doing the best I'm supposed to do on everything? Am I doing my job? Am I taking care of my business? Am I being positive? Am I pushing myself through whatever moments I have? And then the D part is demanded from everybody else. Because now I can ask Peyton, because I'm doing what I'm supposed to do, Peyton. Are you denying? Are you posting up like you're supposed to? Are you running hard? And those kind of things. And when we get this team to start C and D in each and every person, we'll really be good because you'll be holding yourself to the standard. Right now, uh, against FAMU, you know, C and D didn't even exist today. I don't even think they even said anything about it on the court or anything like that. Um, Peyton probably can answer that question, but we will get to a point to where that'll be really, really important to us and we'll um, start to do it a lot more during games and we'll be able to hear it on the sideline as coaches and other people. Because again, if you want to be great and if you want to be really, really good and you want to win games consistently, you have to be able to confront and demand. Hey, John, you down on the floor today? <laughs>